Thank you for this honor, and I'm very happy to now consider myself a part of the SOAS family. Also, I love this green color. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Banda. I'm very moved by those words to continue to set the world alight. Perhaps because so much in the world today seems so dim and so desperately in need of light. And congratulations to you graduating students. One of the things I was most looking forward to was to have the opportunity to sit there and check out your shoes. <laughs> You're very fortunate to have studied here at SOAS, this wonderfully multifaceted place that is steeped in diversity, where difference is normal. This place where you can study so many different non-European and European languages, where different people from different parts of the world converge to learn and to question and to grow. You now have the knowledge to enable you to set the world alight. And so however you want to go about doing that, do not ever let anybody tell you that you should not try to change something because that is the way it has always been. Every political, economic, and social structure we have in the world today was created by people and can be recreated by people. I knew very early on in my life that I did not want the things I was supposed to want. And I felt lonely in this knowledge because I thought that I was the only one who felt this way. I now know that many other people in the world do not want the things that they're supposed to want. I did not want to become a doctor. I did not want to aspire to domesticity. I did not want to reduce myself. Instead, I wanted to tell stories. I wanted to ask questions. I was very alert to the ways that our cultural mindsets so easily uphold different forms of injustice. I wanted to change a small slice of the world. I knew very early on also that I might not succeed, but I wanted to try. I was determined to try. I don't know why I write fiction. What I do know is that I have to write fiction. It is how I make sense of the world. It is what gives me joy. To write fiction is to embark on a long walk, knowing that you will trip and fall many times, but still very keen to take the walk. In writing my novels, I would often get stuck. I would know intuitively that something was not right, but I would not know how to make it right. And in such situations, I would take to my bed and eat a lot of chocolate. <laughs> but even in the middle of the chocolate binging, I knew that at some point I would get up and try again. And it seems to me that this is not a bad way to look at the rest of your life. You will trip many times. It's part of the journey. Don't be surprised when you fall. Maybe even lounge in the dirt a little. And then get up. Always get up. Thank you.